Good people, good people, good people. Have you heard about all the benefits that just by juicing two celery stalks in the morning can do for you and your body? Well, if you haven't, don't go nowhere because I'm about to tell you. So like I was saying, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon, the celery bandwagon that is. I'm going to put down my lemon water first thing in the morning because it's mandatory that you get the celery down first thing in the morning before anything else touches your body in order for it to do its thing in total. I am going to challenge myself for 30 days to see exactly what this celery juice does I'm for interested. your body. in regularity, if you know what I mean. And even if it doesn't help, it's not going to hurt. Why? Because the late, great Miss Cecily Tyson, she said in her memoir that I read a few months ago that she couldn't wait to get up in the morning to drink her celery. And she died at a ripe, beautiful age of 96. So it certainly didn't hurt her. Because she was a beautiful woman. But anyway, with that said, here's to good health and self. Comfort to me is a hot bowl of cream of celery soup on a cool fall day. I have a stalk of celery here. It's clean. Make sure your celery is clean. Next, you're going to chop your celery in bite-sized pieces. You could use the leaves on the celery as well. It's just going to enhance the flavor. Coming up, did you ever eat cream of celery soup out of the can? I did. Today I'm using green onions and I'm going to chop these up in my food processor. You could use yellow or white onion. It's all up to you. Next I'm going to put about a half a stick of butter in my pan and about two tablespoons of olive oil. To this I'm going to add my chopped celery, my onion, my garlic, I chopped about four cloves of garlic. You could use more or less or none. Little salt, little pepper, and I'm gonna allow this to sweat down for about five to six minutes, like so. 
once the vegetables have become translucent, you're going to add a little less than a quarter cup of flour to the vegetables. This flour is going to help thicken the soup. You're going to let this flour cook down for about a minute and to it you're going to add four cups of chicken stock or broth. If you don't want to use chicken stock, you could use vegetable stock. I ended up putting an additional two cups of water in my uh, soup because I had an awful lot of celery here and this is going to make a big pot of soup that I can put in the freezer and save it for a rainy day. Now I added about one large chopped or cubed potato. This is going to make the soup even more hearty. You're going to allow the potato and the celery to come together until it's nice and soft and easy to bite. I added two cups of heavy cream and the juice of a whole lemon. I'm stirring and allowing this to cook until everything is nice and soft. Check out my soup. Now it's time to plate it up. Now it's time to garnish. I got a celery leaf that I'm just gonna put right in, some homemade croutons, and just a little sprinkle of parsley. That soup is meant for a king, queen, prince, princess, and anyone in between. It's taste time for me. It's hot. I put my buttery, garlicky crouton on the top oh my goodness this is delicious it's so good mm. oh my goodness I love it it's so flavorful so moist I, I just put my hands up. I'm done. Don't forget, good people, that the new sexy is being healthy, baby. Thanks for watching.